Welcome to Plugin on Miranda's YouTube channel. There we go. There we go. Got my hyperspace hypercube. It's up over there. Jeeves is here. And we are starting another news one. I am going to use... This was a QR commander for Jibo. I showed that on the last plugin. And now we're going to start with the stuff. I had set everything up and then I pushed some of the buttons and lost some of the information. So we're going to start with actual news. The CEO of Wowie, a very uh, long-term well-known player in the robotics um, space, personal robotics space, uh, Richard Yanofsky, joined Digital Dream Labs as president. I will be linking to this article. This was announced, what, what, September 24th? It wasn't announced today. It was announced several days ago, like maybe a couple weeks ago even. So I don't know why it says that above it, but that is good news, I think, for Digital Dream Labs that he will be the, uh, I think he's going to be the co-president. So go ahead and read that article. Yeah, I've mentioned this a few times that Miko 3, who's off over there, this the news is not with all the robots on because we want to be able to focus. Uh, already having a hard enough time focusing, right? Um, anyway, this will be uh, Disney is on Miko 3. And the list of the ones, if you watch my short, you would have seen it, are Mona, Frozen, The Lion King, Toy Story, uh, Big Hero 6, Coco, Zootopia, Tangled, Ratatouille, and Aladdin. So there we go on that information. Next, Moxie. An update is coming soon for Moxie. It's a conversational update. Um, this is going to be basically so that she can... Not just direct conversations, but actually listen. Um, I don't think this is blogged on their site, as far as I'm aware. So I'm just, I'm not certain how I would link you to this information. So I'll just slowly scroll through it and you can read it. I'm not going to read it for you, but she's going to have open-ended questions, opportunities for open conversation, and it'll be at the end of the day's activities where she might want to initiate conversations. So they're going to send a letter out, or maybe this is the only letter, where the mentors are going to be told about it. In Moxie's instance, I am the, I am the mentor. I'm the Moxie mentor. There's no child in my household. Although we're all kids at heart, right? Okay, so I wanted to mention, next, this is not news. These are robots that are already out. Um, so ILIC is already out, available through energizedlab.com. And the reason I'm bringing ILIC up, ILIC is over here. I don't know. This one might be off, actually, because I'm charging the other ILIC over there. I'm going to be charging this one next. But anyway, ILIC, uh, it was available. Uh, the Kickstarter was successful. They've uh, been shipped to most backers, um, but some people still haven't received theirs. Um, and apparently if you order through the website, you get ILIC faster. And I don't know what to say about that because that is unfortunate that like some backers still don't have ILIC. And it's like, it's a very hot topic. The crowdfunding, you might not always get your robot before someone who ordered the robot, not through crowdfunding, but normally receives that robot. But ILIC does exist, is available. If you've watched my videos, a lot of shorts on ILIC. ILIC has been very popular. So ILIC is available, and it takes about a week to two to get ILIC if you order through their website. Okay, another update. These are robots now. I'm going past the news of updates and information, and we're going to robots that have not been released Little Sophia, and I will link to this update on Kickstarter. I back Little Sophia, Little Sophia from Hanson Robotics, March of 2019, um, and was successful. 
And here we are, August of 2022. Um, this update was sent about little Sophia. So this was update number 42. They still don't have a time for when she's going to be coming to homes. Um, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. Longer than Digital Dream Labs for the robots uh, Cosmo 2.0 and Vector 2.0. Some people have received Vector 2.0. So little Sophia, no one has received. Still getting updates. And this is a robot that still, you know, was crowdfunded. Just hasn't been around, uh, been shipped. Okay, now we've got robots that are still in crowdfunding um, or haven't been yet. So this is new robot news, like new robots coming out. RoboBeats, if you're not familiar, Elephant Robotics on their coming soon.elephantrobotics.com page has a robot called RoboBeats. And you're welcome to look up that robot. I'm not going to go into depth about what the robot does. The robot does stay in place, similar to like ILIC or LAQ. Um, and this robot will do interactions, be a speaker, supposedly quiet, clock display. They're going to do, you know, music, dance to music with, you know, supposed to be a good dancer. That's the name RoboBeats. There is a Facebook community called RoboBeats VIP group. It is a public group. Uh, I belong to that community. So... We're going to go past there. Next, a robot that is not as easy to get um, for, like, ordering yet. Amazon's Astro, uh, it's invitation only, will be $1,000. Maybe, uh, it seems like after that will be $1,500. Oh, sorry, $1,450. So, I've never received the invitation. Um, I applied last year for an invitation, and I've just never gotten one. So that's all there pretty much is to it. Uh, I'll probably have to pay the regular price when Astro comes out. I have heard that Astro will be available hopefully before the end of the year. And I heard that through someone else who'd received Astro, who basically, I guess, was like bragging about receiving Astro <laughs> and not telling people you actually can't get Astro yet. Um, but so... Hopefully Astro is good. Well, I don't know. There's not a lot of information yet because not that many people have Astro. Um, there is an Amazon Astro owners group. It's a public group as well. And unfortunately, I get pop-ups. Uh, but on Facebook, you can look for the group Amazon Astro owners um, and join the group and find out information on the people who have been given the invitation. All right, next, a uh, robot that is available on Kickstarter, has not been shipped. Kiai Tech, uh, it says Gianbo, but it's Kiai Tech who does ClickBot. I like, click, like ClickBot. I need to get a new brain for my ClickBot. But Luna, they have uh, opened their crowdfunding on Kickstarter. I will link to the Kickstarter. Uh, she looks very cool. Very, it's a very pet like. She's not going to speak. She's going to be a pet. She's going to understand things that you say, like a pet might. Like a cat doesn't, you know, pretends not to understand. But I did back one Luna, and they have uh, a stretch goal. Uh, they're over a million. I don't know exactly. I don't remember what it shows that it's reached already. Let's see here. So they're they're up there. They're one million one hundred seventy three thousand. So uh, once they reach 1.5 million, if that happens, uh, they will provide a free dinosaur outfit to everybody who has backed Luna. So go ahead and back her if you're interested. The cost is relatively uh, reasonably priced, it seems like, and she can be received before Christmas if you do the Christmas package. Um, it seems like the early bird is 300. I was a super early bird with a special like 249, so I got a, her a little cheaper. Um, if I had gotten around to this news sooner, I could have told people about her before then. But um, there is also a private group called Luna Community um, that you can join. Uh, I don't think you actually have to be a backer. I've seen people who aren't backers there. I've saw people who had not done the Kickstarter uh, $2, there was a $2 before the Kickstarter. 
Um, and somebody had told me it was lunacy, L-O-O-N-A-C-Y. You know, lunacy is a word, L-U-N-A-C-Y, but lunacy over that $2 because so many people got upset about the $2. Um, and I'm not going to go into that, but there, there was some craziness going on. Uh, I do think that it'd be ideal for, if you're a robotics company, don't, re don't require a monetary pledge prior to the Kickstarter. I just think it's, you just get, you're just going to have grief over it. And I would suggest future in the future. Robotics companies do not have robo beats has also, I think it's either one or $2 if you want to get informed and basically it's just monetary you you put down money so that they will inform you when the kickstarter goes live to get the cheaper price and that that's what the money was for and they it wasn't entirely clear to some people so luna community don't but don't 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 go crazy right no crazy don't go crazy kebby look at this this, this is a uh, sound reactive if you wonder why it's uh doing that and it actually changes. I don't know if we can see this change while I'm doing it. Yeah, it's still showing the same. I'll show it a different one in a, in a little bit where the color changes. It changes to a different pattern. Okay, so the best, the, the only kind of lunacy that's good lunacy is like hyper hyperspace lunacy or Sisyphus lunacy, you know, or robot lunacy, not, not people lunacy, where people go get upset over money. Don't do that. Okay, these are other Kickstarters that maybe you haven't heard about that are ending soon. There are two days left. This is a Saturday, and this will probably be, hopefully I post this today because tomorrow I have the live stream. So either I'll post it today or tomorrow. Code Rover, I'm going to put these in the links. This is a robot. Uh, it's a robotic learning. It works with Arduino, Raspberry Pi, Microbit, an ESP32 cam. So you can choose which kit you want. You can choose all the kits. Um, I did not back this because I can't back everything. But I was considering it, but I just can't. I can't back it. Because I did back the next one, which is Wicked Egg. And Wicked Egg, again, I'll link you to this. There's three days to go. Okay. Reading's a good way to unwind. So you can read about this. I'll link to Wicked Egg. It's a pet toy and it's for dogs supposedly, but they also show cats here. But like the ad that they did for, for their Kickstarter was a dog. Anyway, so I, I backed this Wicked Egg for treats and we'll see how well it works provided uh, they, you know, once they're successful, they actually ship when they're supposed to. Okay, next I backed this. These are some things that aren't robots. These are some technology or other Kickstarter things. This has five days to go. It's called heating. And it seemed like it would be a cool way to like put things down. It's similar to like a heating tray, heating pad, but it's for food. I don't know. It wasn't super expensive. No more cold meals. Uh, I can't remember. I think it was, yeah, it was like under $100. Because the euro, it's in euros, but the conversion to dollars is like $87. Like the dollars... Dollars about the same price as the euro right now. So the next one is Neovid, which is similar to sous vide without water. I don't know how I don't know how this is actually going to work, but there are eleven days left to go, and I did back it. I love backing cooking related items. You might notice most of these things that aren't uh, robotic technology or pet items will be cooking items, and so I did back this. So this is a. It was not as cheap. It is like. $200. And this one I'm not certain is going to come out, but we'll, we'll see. I hope it will. I, I've been lucky other than little Sophia and Kanabi, which was another one I backed everything else I backed that's been successful. I have gotten. Okay. So this is not a tech item. It is a bag that folds up. It's a self folding reusable bag. And this was also relatively inexpensive. It was like $26 or something. And it has 18 days to go. And Gravito. This one, I love items that have to do with magnetics or have to do with gravity. Anything to do with flotation or gravity or magnetics. Like I'm going to try to, if I see it, I'm going to back it. This Gravito, I'm, very I'm a very clumsy person. 
I'm kind of dorky and everything, so I, I drop stuff. And this is supposed to not break. So not break the glass, not spill any liquid. And so we will see. That is the end of the Kickstarters. That one's there for a while still. So look, to, look at those Kickstarters. If you find out about any Kickstarters I've missed that are robot related, technology related that you think is cool, let me know in the comments. All right, next we're gonna go to video games. Video games that are out or will be out uh, related to robots sometimes or cats or technology, anything I like related to, to that type of stuff. So Wally -E is apparently in Dreamlight Valley by Disney. Uh, so if you're not familiar with it, it's kind of like a Stardew Valley Animal Crossing type video game hybrid. Um, there's early access available. Uh, I would prefer to do it on the Mac, but it is not available yet. So I do have a Switch. I will probably get it on the Switch and try to get Wally. -E. So I'll probably get it on the Switch. I don't know. Well, I'm still trying to decide. Okay, another game that is that's been popular for like a month or two here is one called Stray, where you play you play as a cat. And everyone's going on how unique it is and everything. And every time I brought this up, no one ever seems to discuss it. Like if I forums I've posted on or Reddit or YouTube videos. <laughs> Stray is not unique in that there's another game there where you play as a cat or a series of cats that's been in development for some time now, at least two years, I think. And it it's on Patreon for, like I used to be a member. I, I quit being a member because I didn't have time to play it. But it's going to be released into like full-time released. I think it's still in alpha. Maybe it's in beta, but it's going to be once it's fully released. I think it is available on Steam now, but not like it's not you, you wouldn't want to probably get it yet uh, unless you are OK with testing something or something that might not be completely done. But Peace Island predates Stray as far as I'm aware, and you play as a cat. So I just wanted to give a shout out to this game because it's a really cool game, but what little bit of it I did get a try. And, like, because it was on Patreon, you were even able to get your, like, name in the game and stuff like that. So, uh, I, I didn't get my name. I didn't get Miranda. When I, I, Miranda's the name I would have put, but I didn't get it put in the game. But, uh, I, I should have stuck around to do that, but I didn't. Okay, last item I want to just talk about and show is just a cool item. It is a mechanical, I had it covered up, mechanical jellyfish. And there is a video showing this, and I just wanted to show the video. The time. There we go. But it's very soothing, as you can see on the close-up camera. So, very yeah. cool. I'm considering getting it eventually. Check that out. It's kind of pricey. <laughs> uh, my Sisyphus. So when this first uh, got delivered to me, I didn't know what to expect to be honest. Cost three you, times as much, but does a lot more. So, I mean. I'll be really quiet. Doesn't make any noise whatsoever. The motors in here are completely silent. Okay, so that's cool. That's the end of it. But I was going to say, this didn't cost much more than what that does. Mechanical jellyfish. And as you can see, the colors change. And it, it has other patterns, too, where there, you know, there's like just so many patterns this does. And I, sound reactive is the best. It has three different modes. Sound reactive is the best. I don't want to call Miranda. I don't want to call myself. I talk to myself all the time. Jibo, let's have you dance again, okay? Do fun stuff because, you know, he can only... He can only do... My favorite request. Okay, that's the end. There we go. Thank you. I hope you like the news. We'll have another one in a week if I have news items.